And we're live! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome once again to Sofa Justice Warriors Live. As always, I am Joe. Hats, cats, and other folk, it is November 28th, 2017. I'm not going to do a political rant today. Hey, Ishmael. Everything's shit. Republican tax bill is looking like it could pass. That's not great. Uh... I don't want to talk about it. So today's rant is going to be about Star Citizen. It's going to be about Chris Roberts. It's going to be about a guy who's been trying to make this game since 1990. <laughs> and he still hasn't done it. He made Privateer. It was very good. It was complete. But it was an incomplete vision for of what he really wanted. So he uh, tried to make Privateer Online. Uh, then... Got fired from Origin. Can't remember if he got fired or quit. Uh, but Origin was getting taken over by EA and turned into this ugly piece of shit company anyway. <laughs> um, and then he formed Digital Anvil. And he, he made Freelancer. And, and he made Star Lancer first and then Freelancer off the back of that. Taking place kind of in the same universe but almost a reboot of it. And he got fired off that because he feature creeped his way into never finishing the game. So here we are with Star Citizen. I logged in today, you know, to test this to make sure it would work when I streamed it. And I check in with Star Citizen about once or twice a year. Twice a year. Um, like I said, they fired him off Freelancer because he couldn't finish it. And then they hastily finished it. And you can kind of see all the features that he wanted. Like you can contact any NPC in that game and they'll tell you where they're from and where they're going. Has no purpose in the game we were given. Because it was meant to serve this dynamic economy that never happened. Uh, <laughs> so instead it was just a fun fly around, shoot shit and deliver cargo and watch a number get bigger game. Which is all I want. That's, that's the only thing. I want to fly in a spaceship from one location to another location and watch my money get bigger. <laughs> Occasionally get into a dog fight. That's all I want. And Chris Roberts, I, I logged in today to test this to see, like I said, I only try it like uh, twice a year and I haven't, I haven't uh, played it since uh, early August when our friend Craig was uh, about to move and he came over and we played space as we are wont to do. And fucking logged in today, no update. There has been no progress on this game in that many months. And I looked at the patch notes, there hasn't been any progress since April. Are you fucking with me on this? I gave this, I gave this game less than retail amount uh, for a game. You know, in the hopes that, cool, crowdfunding. And then they reached their crowdfunding goal and then they had endless stretch goals and they are still crowdfunding. It has been years. It is, this has been in development for seven years. <laughs> they have been crowdfunding, not that whole time, but at least the last five, they have been taking your money to give you fake spaceships the whole time. That'd be fine. If we kept seeing updates. All right. So I'm calling it. I'm not actually calling it. I have no threat. I have no threat to back up. I'm still going to play this once they finish it in another seven years, presumably. It'll be 14 years in development, not obsolete by the time it comes out. <laughs> so let's go. Uh, we got some comments before we start. I'm going to click, click in and wait for the endless load time. And while that happens... I'll read your comments. Casper says, no Witcher? No, no, I didn't do Witcher. Maybe later. Uh, probably later. Almost definitely later. Ishmael says, this might be the first time I've ever watched this game actually being played. Wait, can it be played? Yeah, it's a game, technically. And yes, I backed this on Kickstarter years ago. Wasn't Freelancer pretty darn good? Oh, lol, okay. Yeah. And people laughed at me when I said Star Citizen could be would be vaporware. It's not technically vaporware. There's a game. There's even a fully half not fully realized a half baked FPS element that none of us asked for that they finished it was not part of the original pitch, and that's in the game. But the part where you fly around 
and deliver cargo? Not in the game! At least Elite Dangerous produced an actual playable finished game. It did. I was going to play that today. And then I realized... Uh, I'm not very good at Elite. <laughs> and all I do is fly from one location to another and watch a number get bigger. And that's probably not very exciting. And this game is buggy as shit. And some fun glitches are bound to happen. And I just can't... That, that sounded like more fun to me today. Ishmael says, wait, there's an FPS now? Why? Exactly! None of us asked for that! None of us paid for that! Boy, I'm, I'm looking kind of kind of schlubby today. It's, it's a little chilly out, so I'm wearing a sweatshirt. And uh, it's weird as, as the years go by, I look more and more like my father. So I'm seeing my own face on cam here, and I'm like, that guy's dead. <laughs> I'm, I'm watching a dead guy live stream. But no, it's me. It's my face. I got dark. Sorry. <laughs> Still loading. You know. This game has changed engines twice, I think. At least once. Uh, <laughs> They started on the CryEngine, and they were going to hack in all of this stuff that allowed them to make an MMO in the CryEngine. And... Yeah. We have one base and one planet. And, and, and then we have some shooter arenas. And that's it. Ishmael says, the problem with Chris Roberts is he has good ideas and a terrible, is a terrible project manager. Chris Roberts needs a company above him telling him no. <laughs> right now, what he's got is millions of fans telling him yes and paying him more money. Pretty much need to be like an incompetent project manager, Ishmael says. Yes, absolutely. Feature creep is will be the death of him. I, unfortunately, nobody's letting it be. Nobody is, is, is saying, not literally nobody, but the consensus nobody. Wow, you can see the textures slowly pop in. Things exist only after I've looked at them. Okay. Looks like I'm already wearing a space suit. I've made that mistake of trying to go out an airlock without wearing one. Two hilarious results. Wow. <laughs> Everything is blurry and pixelated until I look at it for a few seconds, and then it, then it becomes sharp. <laughs> The same two vending machines everywhere. Presumably in the future, everybody survives off of uh, soda and ramen noodles. Big Benny's Grab Eat. Is the texture clear enough that I can... No. No, it is not. It's just all bolt boxes and noodles. <laughs> Well, even in the far-flung future, we still have binary gendered restrooms. Fuck off! Somebody's grody lunch popping into existence. <laughs> that texture pop-in is something else. <laughs> We've already loaded the Big Bennies, so it's good. Where, where am I? Oh my god! Uh, okay, I am. I have clipped through the space station and am now EVOing <laughs> in space. <laughs> that did not take long! <laughs> I used the wrong bathroom and got spaced. Eh.
My space station is run by North Carolina Republicans. Yes! <laughs> Hopefully that means uh, an openly transgender politician will soon take over Star Citizen. How the fuck did this happen? I need to find the, the, the loading dock, or the landing pad. Okay. Boy, it sure is a pretty uh, not quite a game yet. I just took a bundle of fall damage. Okay, am I going to fall through this or is that just a shadow? That's just a shadow. <laughs> Start to glitch time. Less than a minute. There's a clothing store. The system is so weird, like... There's no way to equip your stuff. So you see this, like, try on and buy? In order to put on the, your clothes, you have to come find them in the store and then say, equip. Yeah. I, I, this is what I'm wearing. This is what I own. So I, I can equip this one. And that's how you equip your shit, is you go find it at the store. <laughs> this is just the, the basics of, of... How do you get into, like... Okay, pop in the texture. There it is. How do you get to, like, the meat and potatoes? Haven't given you even a solar system to fly around in? Yes, there's one. There's one solar system to fly around in. Anyway, but how do you get to the meat and potatoes of all this graphical design and, and selling clothes? Thankfully, they're not like microtransactions. I earn the money by flying missions and then I buy clothes. How do you get into this before you make a game? But they made a fucking clothes store on a space station, Ishmael says. Correct. That is illegible. And there we go. <laughs> I have the shittiest... Uh, the shittiest ship in the game, which means I can only complete missions with which don't have combat elements. Hey, I can use the health thing. I don't know that that did anything. We're getting a lot of choppiness here. We're kind of dropping into the seconds per frame. You know what this graphical style reminds me of? Unreal Tournament 3. This is not a compliment. Things look like a hybrid between plastically and hyper-realistic, and it looks awful. I agree with you to some extent. Unreal Tournament 3, yeah, everything is made of fucking rubber. Once you get out into space... This is some good-looking shit. The harsh lighting is good, yeah. I have no way of closing this door, so I just won't. <laughs> it's the starter ship, mind. This is the one literally everybody gets. There's no way to close that door. It 
See if I can remember how to fly. Controls in Elite Dangerous are far more intuitive, I can tell you that much. Okay, let's take a mission. Thank you for getting in touch with me. My husband recently died aboard the Gundo Kovalec station, but the company is refusing to pay out his insurance claim. Because they say he was at fault. It's ridiculous. There is no way that's true. I know my husband. Darnell had his problems, but that is all in the past. I want you to go to the Kovalec station and send me evidence that my husband is innocent. But even if you find out that he isn't, you'll still get paid. I know your time is valuable, and really, I just want to know the truth. I've attached the insurance claim to get you started. Good luck. Okay, and I looks hope like to hear from you soon, one way or another. Looks like uh <laughs> Ishmael says she's super calm and nonchalant about her husband dying. Yeah, it's in the past. He's dead. <laughs> okay. I thought that was okay, there's my mission marker. It's over here. And there's a planet in the way. So I gotta go somewhere else first. Quantum travel initiated. <coughs> we ain't got any problems with you right now. Stick around, and it's gonna change. I was leaving. Don't kill me, pirates. There's like three missions, and it's the same three missions. There's one where you fix a Comoray. There's this one where you eat, do some cool EVO stuff. And then there's go to a beacon. And that's it. That's the only three you get. And you do them over and over and over again to earn credits to buy clothing. You are trespassing on Kovalec's private property. Seems like my two speeds are too fast and too slow, respectively. I have an enemy here, presumably a pirate. Awesome. So that guy probably hangs out there and kills other players and makes sure that nobody can do that mission. And the only defense against that is somebody with a higher powered ship killing him which you can't do can't have unless you pay more real world money there's no way to buy a better ship with in-game currency yet so i cannot earn money not on that mission anyway We have a cooldown period where if I uh, want to recall my ship, it'll cost me money. And we have to wait that out. So let's bum around. Uh, let's bum around this space station some more. Oh, it happened again. Okay, you can officially reliably clip through the bathroom door. <laughs> oh, 
What a piece of shit. I want to love this game. I really do. Ishmael says, haha, there's an amazing Star Citizen recap thread on something awful in the stupid crowdfunding accomplishment mausoleum subforum of the games forum? <laughs> yeah. That does not surprise me. I haven't been following the drama. All I know is what what I experience when I come in to play the game. I check in a couple times a year. And it is a big buggy mess. Okay, is this... No, that's not the landing pad. Oh, yeah, it is. There we go. I didn't take a bunch of fall damage that time, so that's good. Why does my radar <laughs> exist in 3D space? That's... that's silly. <laughs> Dumpers Depot. I don't know what this is. It is nothing, and I've clipped through into space again! Are you fucking kidding me? I can't even go through a door? God damn it, man! Three times. Three times I've tried to go through a door that didn't have anything behind it, and I clipped through a hundred percent of the times. When Derek Smart calls Star Citizen a long con, you know something has gone horribly wrong. Chris Roberts is not a con artist. He's just incompetent. Never attribute to malice that which you can attribute to stupidity. And I'm saying this of one of my heroes, who has made my favorite game series, one of my two favorite game series of all time. But I gave that money years and years ago, and what did I get? I got a game that is fu only functional in the sense that it, it is entertaining for me to stream to watch how bad it is. Pilot fallback. We don't want any civilian casualties here. What did I do? The game apparently thinks I'm attacking the system? The, the, the base? Ishmael says, the functional difference between what's happened in a long con to get more money isn't very large. It is not. It is functionally identical. But I do believe he is trying to make this game. Okay, I can, can request my ship again. Confirmed. Your 
Try to go through that door, but I don't want to clip outside again. Elite Dangerous really had it right. Take the bare bones of what you want the game to be a fun game, build that, and then keep making new content. But they made the game first. They didn't go, oh, what if we added uh, first-person shooter support? What if... What if? Let's do that then. They went, yeah, we could do that. We'll do it later, though. First, we have to make a game. <laughs> there has to be a game to add it to. Why am I not getting in the ship? Okay, I hit the button to get in the ship. There we go. Look what happens when I try to close the door. Enter ship. And that door opened. And... Oh, oh, the game thought I had a gun for a second. <laughs> this is like watching a Jim Pressions video of a shitty Steam game. <laughs> right? Like... When Jim Sterling puts on one of those $2 games made by a 12-year-old... Ishmael says, yep, there were flaws with Elite Dangerous, but it was still actually solid, and at least for some activities, pretty fun. The way things are looking, I might do the second half of the stream just playing Elite Dangerous. Even if it's boring, it's a game. I don't mean the game is boring, I mean watching me play it would be kind of boring. Because I don't know how to do anything. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Ishmael says, at least you won't get spaced for trying to use the bathroom anymore. Yeah, I won't be able to get out of my ship ever, which is fine. Damn it. Is there a pirate here again? Or that was another player, not a pirate. So this, I gotta give the game props. I thought was kind of clever and cool. Warning. You are trespassing on Kovalec's private property. Was a mission that isn't combat, but is still fly to a place and do a thing. Where I EVO around... A cool derelict spaceship to find evidence for you know insurance. That's that's cool. That's genuinely cool. My doors are magically closed. No, I don't want to enter the pilot seat. I want to exit the ship. But it says enter the ship. Because who needs context? But it's, it's neat that, like, it's one continuous thing. I'm on the ship, right? Or I'm on the space station. I go to my ship, I get in my ship. I fly here, I get out of my ship. It's all continuous, and that's, that's great that they built that. But that has, made it, that has made it 
impossible to build a bigger game in, in a time frame that's reasonable. I would have been just fine with, I have a ship, I can get out of the ship, you know, and go to a menu. This station is currently off limits. Please vacate the area. And click around a menu, like in Elite Dangerous, or even better, click around some artwork, like in Privateer. I would have been fine with that. And then if they wanted to add this later, sure. Come on. But this is cool. This is like aliens shit. Or Firefly. EVOing around a, a derelict. Okay, there was music, and then there was a different music, and now there's no music. So that, that was weird. <laughs> I, of course, know where to go because I've done this mission before. Upload evidence? You mean download evidence. You idiots. How can you not get that right? I'll let you know that I have received the information you sent and will be uploading the payment to your account. After all that, it seems that Kovalex was right. I'm sorry he cost those people their lives. At least, I know the truth now. I'm sorry Darnell was a drunk, lady. Ishmael is copy and pasting something from the thread. And I can't wait to read it! Okay, I've successfully flown to a place and done a thing for money. Like, genuinely, that was kind of, oh, shit. Kind of want to steal that guy's ship. And you can totally do that, by the way. Those are two really awesome ships. And I have the shittiest one in the game. Uh, I can't. They're right there. I mean, fuck it. <laughs> I'm taking it. How do I get in there? There's a ladder. Why doesn't it prevent you from doing it? I think... I don't know. Could be feature, not bug. Uh, I'm clipping... Okay, I've, I've commandeered this vessel. 
Casper's got to go. That's fine, because you're on your way over here. Ishmael says, abscond with your precious. I have. Maybe now I can do a combat mission. I just straight up jacked that guy's ship. <laughs> oh, Casper says, oh, I meant time to go with your ship. Yeah, I got the fuck out of there. <laughs> okay, let's see what else I can do. I don't know. I don't know how to. Offers competitive rates on quantum fuel. Would you like to refill your tank? I don't know how much quantum fuel I have. Okay, repair array. Let's do that. One thousand UEC. <laughs> I've still got a a link to my ship over there. <laughs> Ishmael says, this is clearly the correct way to play this. Oh, absolutely. This is the most fun. That's how Craig and I, whenever he comes over, that's one of the things we do is we just hang out on the, on the uh, landing pad and wait for somebody to spawn a better ship than mine. <laughs> he has a good ship. He paid for one. I refuse. If I'm paying for a better ship and the game is me flying around getting money to buy a better ship... What's the game? If I could just buy the best gear in Elite Dangerous, what am I working towards? Do yourself a favor and turn around. Okay, there's... blacking out not fun not a fun mechanic to put into a game realistic absolutely my landing gear is deployed and I don't know how to de uh, undeploy it If he's just gonna spin around me in circles, how the fuck am I supposed to... What is happening? Okay, I slowed down to turn around and now my shields are critical. <laughs> Okay, shields at full strength. That's that's just fine. Can you warp back and blow up your old ship? That's what I would have done. I don't want to go back there because that's where the owner of this ship is. That guy probably stole my ship <laughs> to get back to the base. Boy, combat in this is just obtuse. Like, and this is even an NPC who's going to fly shitty routes so that I can destroy him. Do I have missiles? Luckily, you don't need to care if the ship gets blown up. You didn't buy it. True. True. You have insurance on your ships, and, and if you die, you can just respawn it. I hit him, like, once. He 
he's just flying rings around me. Which, like, if I try to keep up, I black out. Why is he not blacking out? Guess I should figure out how to deploy my landing gear. What the fuck? N is landing mode. I don't know what that did. That did my still says my landing gear is deployed. I'm going to mouse. Oh, that's way easier. Of course, he's just sitting there now. How are you not dead? Sakes, die, will you? Why is the mission withdrawn? die and now I'm out of my ship why why am I not in my ship anymore why did I clip out of my ship all of a sudden Steal the NPC ship? I don't think I can. Maybe I can? Is this the NPC's ship? It sure is. I don't think you can fly those because I don't think they modeled cockpits and shit. Okay, well, I have no ship, and I'm gonna need to respawn. You know what probably happened? And this makes perfect sense, is that the other player whose ship I stole respawned his ship back at the space station. So now I'm going to spend 20 minutes EVOing over to this thing. Ishmael says, this game is the worst. It's the game? Is it a game, though? <laughs> Just play another game? This is garbage? I'll play... I, I, I'll probably switch to Elite Dangerous after the break. I'm gonna... I'm gonna finish this mission if I can. But this totally plays like early access Steam garbage Jim Sterling would review and point out every flaw with. And it's been seven years. It's been in development for seven years.
I'm a total wing nut in the wing commander fan sense, not in the right wing radio sense. I'm a total wing nut, and I can't get behind this. I can't. I want to love it, and I can't. This is this isn't just garbage. This is hot, steamy garbage. Boy, uh, I'm just not getting any closer to this thing. <laughs> <laughs> can't even tell if it's getting bigger on my monitor okay it is I estimate another five minutes <laughs> Casper says, are you like swimming through space? No, I'm EVOing. I have little uh, jet propulsion. It, it, oh, well, you can't see it right now. Oh, there it is. Yeah. It spits out oxygen and propels me through space. Dude, the model is like... I don't know about oxygen, whatever. It's, it's, these are a real thing. These actually exist. Like, look at his model. Look at, look at this. That's what it looks like when the green screen is set wrong. Like, <laughs> like my shirt yesterday was doing that a little bit because I have to do this by myself and I can't, run over to the computer and look at what I look like on the screen. So sometimes I just have to take my best guess. And at the end of the day, I looked at my shirt. It was doing that a little. But it's fine. It, it wasn't, like, super noticeable. But this is a multi-million, a multi-multi-million dollar project. This is the, the most successful crowdfunding in history. This game. In history. Nothing has crowdfunded as much money as this. Weep for humanity. I'm gonna get there. Ah, hurt my wrist. Casper says, you might as well be swimming. Yeah, basically. It's a little more scientifically accurate, but... I am just bound and determined to make it to this space station. Let me ask you this. Is the, uh... Water heater super noticeable? As I didn't unplug it today. Okay, Ishmael Wang. Juicy financial stuff from the end of October 2017 from the Something Awful thread. This was a summary of the activity of CIG UK specifically that strips out the intergroup transaction. Sources of funding, 710 pounds long-term loans, 290,000, or no, 710,000 long-term loans, 290,000 pounds short-term creditors, 200,000 pounds shareholder investment, 650,000 sale of IP to USA company? What? What intellectual property did they sell? 1.85 million pound total outgoings, 440,000 purchase of Foundry 42 limited from Aaron Roberts. Aaron Roberts, that's his fucking brother! And other, and others. What the fuck? Why is he buying Foundry 42? That's the company that's making this get. That's his company! Okay, I'll unplug the water heater.
Okay, we're into just naked corruption at this point. Basically, what I just pasted says, this is from Ishmael again, they've taken 1.85 million pounds, taken in 1.85 million pounds, and have spent 1.85 million pounds. Okay. I mean, Hollywood and, 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 uh, tech, bookkeeping, that's how that works. You do, you do the fucking horrible voodoo until Star Wars hasn't made a profit on paper yet, because you gotta pay higher taxes on profits. So, literally, Star Wars has not turned a profit. No movie ever turns a profit. On paper. music keeps changing for no reason <laughs> but yeah, yeah but yeah lots of fishy stuff going on yeah that that is some fishy shit i finally made it to the space station i can't figure out how to get in there we go I'm at least going to be able to do this. Stop stuttering for five seconds. Okay, you've sold me. This game is a scam. <laughs> Ominous music. Trouble playing Elite Dangerous is I haven't played it in long enough that I don't know if I remember how. Okay, I did a thing, and I got money, and now <laughs> I have no way of getting back home. <laughs> I'm inside of a comaray with no ship. I guess that's why you don't steal a ship, is the other person can just respawn it out from under you. I'm lost in space. Literally lost in space. <laughs> My ship doesn't have an icon anymore, so somebody blew it up. Figure out how we... <clears throat> Ishmael says... Ha ha ha, in one of their presentations at a convention recently, they showed off some planet art, and it turns out... They literally lifted and slightly recolored a real picture of... Gradius. <laughs> sure. Sure. Okay, I need to figure out how to kill myself and respawn. Boy, that's not just... Okay, you guys are probably looking at this and going, Boy, that's really unclear on the stream. No, that's really unclear here. I can't read this. Like, I don't think anybody tested this in 720p, just 1080. Because you can read it in 1080. How do I self-destruct?
Boy, I, I just, I have no idea. Casper says, is that a keyboard? Yeah, I'm looking at the key bindings right now. <laughs> it is theoretically a keyboard. Doff increase. Z offset pos. I don't know what any of that is. Looks like the number pad is for shields now. They change the controls every time they update. It's super frustrating. So as soon as you learn a set, they change it on you. Okay. Wait, I can't even chat. There it is. I'm just asking people. Yeah, that's like how you guys can barely make it out. I can't really make it out either. Like, I got to get really close to the monitor. Nobody's answering my question. They super did not test this at 720. Oh my god. These people, these people in chat, they're not answering my question, so fuck them. But they are telling me that Robert Space Industries is literally selling pretend land for real money in a game that doesn't exist yet. That's a shady fucking business practice. That is a super shady fucking business practice. If I just go to the console... Respawn. No. I did not do. Nope. Die didn't work. Respawn didn't work. flight basic so that's everything Ishmael says according to the, this essay thread there are somewhere between two and four thousand people who almost instantly buy every new spaceship regardless of cost so every time RSI announce a new ship they immediately make several hundred thousand dollars yeah that's Completely unsurprising. Some people... This is just sunk cost fallacy of the game. <clears throat> I'm very, very disappointed. How is there no fucking self-destruct? I know there used to be. Fuck it. I'm literally... I'm, I'm googling it. Okay, Google. Star Citizen, how to self-destruct. Alt Backspace. Let's see if that's listed on here. Self-destruct, yep, there it is. Okay, I just missed it.
I'm not in a ship, so I can't self-destruct. <laughs> I'm fucked! What do I do? <laughs> I, I guess I, I quit, quit the menu. <laughs> so, as far as I can tell, check. Oh, yeah. As far as I can tell, <laughs> I'm. I'm gonna say this. Okay, so so this is something from. The something awful thread about this game. Uh, somebody went to CitizenCon and said the only female I saw was a hooker. And this guy replied, Seriously, did someone tip her off to the fact that she could make thousands selling JPEGs of her spaceships and promising to blow their minds later? <laughs> Holy shit. Alright. Well, we're gonna drop into uh, Star Marine. Because we've done... Holy shit, we did a full hour of, of, of meaningless horse shit. So the next half hour, multiplayer, private. Loadout customization. Hey, we got some uh, inclusivity here with a black main character. That's nice. What's the elimination and last stand? What's the fucking difference? Those both sound like the exact same thing. <laughs> Energy shotgun, sure. Ballistic rifle. Energy shotgun. Energy pistol. Fine. Battle for dominance as you and your team fight to hold the control points before time runs out. Got it. I'll do last stand. Croker says, howdy, Joe. Howdy, Croker. We're playing, uh, uh what? Uh, you've missed the, the good hour of me clunking through what is ostensibly a game. And <laughs> let's see, I, I clipped through walls and got spaced no less than three times. Uh, <laughs> I did get to steal somebody's ship. That was fun. And now we've dropped into the FPS that nobody asked for in this space game that still isn't done. Star Citizen, more like start crying, am I right? That was, I'm, I'm assuming you wanted me to groan, and I'm going to deny you that satisfaction. I hear sounds, I don't see pictures. I'm seeing the same black screen you are. There we go. All right. The first person shooter nobody wanted. I don't know what team I'm on. It has not told me. I don't know how to figure out which team that is. <clears throat> oh, I guess blue is good and red is bad, so Marines, I'm on it. I am meant to hack this. Sure. That was, that was a bunch of stuff that happened. 
gonna turn this down a little. This. Um. That is probably me. My frame rate is okay. It's just uh, the stream is chugging on it a little bit. I don't know where any of this stuff is. Okay. Do I have to hold it? Accessing control point. Okay. <laughs> Croker says, look, sometimes you spend 50 million on a game and it doesn't work out in the end. It was way more than 50 million. I think I captured a control point. And then died. Man alive. <laughs> Ishmael is quoting from a thread. I had children to be my spaceship crew, but the game's been delayed so long they've all gone off to college. My main turret gunner finished packing up all his belongings, mocked my consolidated Outland Pioneer to my face, and then said, fuck you, Dad, before driving away. <laughs> Google said Star Citizen had 50 million so far, I didn't look further. Oh, then maybe that's it. I guess you are correct. Okay, it said I had two weapons, but I can't, like, switch between them. Also, I picked a shotgun, and this way isn't a shotgun. Opposing team has every control point. Died immediately. <clears throat> So this is like a really bare bones FPS. So, so far what I'm learning is that this company has no problems building a prototype proof of concept. And they can do nothing beyond that. Casper says this game is boring. Yeah, I'm playing a boring first-person shooter. Okay. I did nothing. I definitely can't stay here long because I can see my frame rate has even suffered. My computer is, is not equipped to run this and push out the stream at the same time. <clears throat> Casper says, I haven't been tempted to look over at this monitor for the last hour. Fair enough. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do that again, but I've got... I've got another 20 minutes before the break. So we're going to go... We're going to go to the planet. Area 18. So I at least want to leave off feeling like I saw something that's kind of pretty. <laughs> By the way, the Outland Pioneer costs $850. $850 US dollars for a spaceship JPEG. <laughs> Dude! Like, go back to the original pitch! All we wanted, all we were sold, was we're going to give you a wing commander, and then we're going to give you a privateer. And we don't need that much money to do it. And they got more money, and then we didn't, get, we didn't even get that. <clears throat> this is asinine!
gonna go get a drink of water while this loads. Oh good, it loaded. Look at this. Oh my god! This guy has figured out how to clip through the architect- Oh, I just did it! That was not that hard. I just clipped through the architecture by jumping a little bit. <laughs> I'm getting my, my, my $30 worth, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Problem is, now I have no way of getting back out. Oh, no, that was easy. Everybody is the same bald guy, by the way. This sloth-looking... SLOTH LOVE CHUNK! There's me. There's the outfit I bought. A maroon shirt with some blue jeans, but they're space blue jeans. This guy is asking, how do I look at my inventory? You don't have one, dude. <laughs> Nobody does. <laughs> There's a nice little bar where I can't sit on any of the chairs. And one creepy looking- nobody has hair in the future! Oh, his neckline is clipping. His neckline is clipping! Look at this! Space jeans, Casper says. Okay, so I can't, I can't take a spaceship and fly it somewhere and pick up cargo 
and fly to another place and sell that cargo, but I can do this. Hang on. I can dance. Congratulations, Robert Space Industries. You've made a shitty second life. What even is up with this fucking camera? Croker says, I mean, it's hard to model clothes, but 50 million and five years later, seven years later, I think you should probably be able to do that. Yes, you probably should. Ishmael, if anyone had come to the Something Awful Games Forum any time before 2014 and said that Derek Smart would be an active and respected poster, they'd have been laughed off the forums, but somehow. Yeah, Star Citizen's greatest feat is making Derek Smart look reasonable. Star Citizens, this is Ishmael, Star Citizens, Derek, uh, sheer incompetence has legitimized Derek fucking smart. Kickstarter was in 2012, but they started building, uh, uh, fan support earlier than that. On the Wing Commander forum saying, like, something's coming. On the Wing Commander CIC at wcnews.com. Where I still have, like, a fucking 17, 18, 19 year old forums account. I got banned a couple times for being an argumentative little shit when I was a teenager. Um, I have no idea who Derek Smart is other than some dude who makes fun of his game. He made, like, Battlecruiser something, like Battlecruiser 2000 or whatever in the 90s. Like, he's a game developer who was pretty notoriously, like, hot-tempered and incompetent, but, like, weirdly competent at certain things. Battlecruiser 2000 AD. Well, Dan. Oh. What the fuck? Chris, Chris, Chris Roberts is an incompetent boob. Of a, of a project manager. This is, this is cool. Like, this is a really cool space station. And if it worked properly and actually functioned, this would be like a neat place. Like, I like that there's in-game advertisements not for real-world products, but for in-game products. Like, there would be. Like, What? Oh, I get it. The game thinks I'm holding a gun, even though I'm not. Every time I jump. <laughs> Look at this shit! Look at this! Fifty million dollars in seven years. This does nothing. Everybody in the game is the same nondescript bald guy wearing different clothes. Can you shoot someone while jumping? This is important. Well, now it... No. No, I cannot. Like, look at this. This, this is not bad. There's something here. But how is it just this buggy? You can still play Mist Online, which never officially launched, by the way. It, it uh, fully. 
it got it got scrapped and then a few years later GameTap picked it up and launched it kinda and so but it's still out there cyan runs a server for it and you can still go join it and play um but it's mostly this it's mostly one hub world where everybody's running around trying to clip into the the architecture and finding they call it skydiving and trying find to find that it's mostly this <laughs> Croker says, I'm glad that we finally have a game that simulates face blindness. Yes, I have that problem. And then says, yeah, there's an art design team that spent five years selling spaceship JPEGs. You're not wrong. So boring, Casper says. I'm, I'm sorry. It's a walking around simulator. Already been here. Every time I jump, it thinks I have a gun. Can't clip through that architecture. Casper <laughs> says, I'm also sorry you're playing this. Is playing even the right word? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. I do like that when I look down there, I am there, though. Even if there's that stupid fucking bug. Oh, man, alive. This is bad. How is it not better than this? How has there not been an update since April? Like, like I said, twice a year I check in and I'm like, let's see if it's any better. Mm -mm. It hasn't even been an update. What are they doing over there? Good God. I have seven minutes to kill. What should I do? Before going on break and loading up Elite Dangerous. Joe, how much money did you spend on this game? You can tell us this is a safe space. I think it was $30, it may have been 40 Whatever the minimum was, that's why I only have the shittiest ship. I was like, I will do enough to get access to the game, and that is all I want. And I was an early, early, early adopter. I was in on this, like, from day one. Because they told all the Wing Commander fans about it. Like I said, they started building hype well before the actual crowdfunding campaign, but they didn't tell us what it was. They were just like, something's coming, something's coming. And that lasted like a year or two when, as they built that big hype video and prototype. And like, this was the prototype you could get in a ship and fly around. Like it was, it looked pretty fucking done. I'm glad you didn't have to remortgage your house to buy spaceship JPEGs. No, I didn't do any of that shit. Because, again, I saw that you were going to be able to do that, and I was like, well, that's a fine for, like, crowdfunding reward, but, like, if the game itself is fly around and do shit so that you can make money, so that you can afford cooler shit, if you just buy the cooler shit, where's the game? <laughs> that is the game. Oh, there's a medical unit. That I am not... Okay, I guess I, <laughs> I clipped through the door and then it opened. The game is blowing up people who did not buy cooler shit. That's basically it, yeah. Casperin says, presumably it'd be limited edition if you paid more with Kickstarter, right? You wouldn't be able to get it through normal play. Isn't that the point? That's true of, like, some paint jobs, but not the ships themselves. They'll all be available in the game. But 
Boy, that's... I mean, it sure is cool looking. Though that ship had no textures on it. <laughs> have I ever played Alpha Protocol? I have not. That ship also had no textures on it. That said Astro Armada, and I thought it said Armando Estrada, which is a totally different guy. <laughs> Nothing works. You have so much to live. No, you don't. Never mind. What do you mean I don't have anything to live for? I have lots to live for. Ishmael Wang says, oh my god, the rabbit hole goes deeper. We're about to learn some new shady shit. Can I sit? <laughs> Okay. I can sit down on the floor. I can't I can't just sit. Can't sit on the chair. <clears throat> Apparently, this is per Ishmael, the Star Citizen community manager, Sandy something, is super obsessed with criticism and such online. Oh, I don't know where this is going, but it's gonna be good. And there is very good evidence, i.e. her emailing screen caps, that she reads the Star Citizen thread on something awful. Okay. Which is almost entirely very negative about it. Casper says, wander around the husk of this civilization and sit on the floor. Correct. Boy, have they just done anything in the last year... If there was any progress, I would I would have still been pretty positive on this. But it's just been it's been like two years of nothing, of just no progress. So now to paste a post. Consider your example of her person personally responding to posts from this thread. People being banned on RSA for posting here after we criticized giving Ben donuts. She awkwardly came out and placed a huge bag of donuts in the center of the frame while looking at the camera. After we made fun of her looking as... Looking high as fuck with huge glasses and stuffing her face during shows later. This seems mean-spirited. She just weirdly stared into the camera and started eating while smirking. I think she's probably narcissistic enough to have been reading this thread personally, which is funny. That's her job. That's not narcissism, which is funny because it means that we have had more direct influence on Star Citizen than any of the whales have had while paying zero dollars. The whales in crowdfunding, for those who don't know, everybody's looking for the white whale of the person who will pay all of the money. It's, it's a pretty... Yeah. I, I, uh, I worked... A gaming expo not long ago where it was just that it was a thousand percent chasing whales people were banned from the rsi forums for posting negative things in something awful about the game that's pretty fucked up croaker says goons are a little creepy about things they hate yeah all right everybody <laughs> enough of this farce I gave it an hour and a half. We've gotten as much entertainment as we're going to get out of it. Good. Bye. Let go. Let go of my computer. Set yourself free, Joe. <laughs> I have. 
pretty sure I'm going to play, I'm going to be really bad at Elite Dangerous next. So let me, uh, let me pull up some art for that. I even got this nice, like, transparent Star Citizen logo, and I, I, I put some uh, some stroke on the edges of it to make it look better. I was all excited. I did I did prep work for this. Why is... Yeah, new window. I can't do all this behind the scenes because... I can't edit this unless it's open and I'm in the middle of a stream. So you all have to just watch as I do design work. Casper says, congrats, you put more work into it than they did. The, the design team is the only one doing any work. Why is Star Citizen still open? Ah, oh, crap. I need to install a new... I'm glad I did this before I took a break because I need to uh, install a new version of the installer. We might be waiting a minute to play Elite, but we can chat after the break. I did not know I was going to be playing this, so I didn't update it. Ishmael says, oh my god, I think I know why the clipping effects are so bad. Why is that? My glasses are just filthy. <sighs> per Ishmael, uh, this is a bit complex. There have been a bunch of posts about how to make the environments and planets workable objects that things in the engine are scaled to different sizes. Hmm. I can almost guarantee you that watching me mug the camera as I clean my glasses is more entertaining than what I was doing before. <sighs> but they aren't doing the scaling of some things correctly. Quote, scaling down all game objects is a cheap way to make your levels bigger, but it has disastrous effects, including breaking collisions. You can clip through things easily because your player character is approaching the collider's error margin and breaking physics. Mask it's screwy and everything tends to behave like balsa wood. Hmm. <sighs> Poorly coded mess, sure. What am I waiting for here?
Crap. It's making me do verification again for some reason. That's what happens when you don't play one of your games for long enough and it's an online service. <laughs> We might not be able to play this. We'll see. I might just have to play fucking Minecraft or something. Yep. This happened before. Where I click update and it hangs. And I need to delete the game and start over. I'll try one last thing. I'll try one last thing. And it's not using any network, so it's not downloading anything. Ishmael says, okay, well, I'm going to catch a bus home. It was a pleasure watching you play that janky disaster of a game. <laughs> it was a pleasure having you, man. Jimmy Colorado is here. I'm all for deleting the game. <laughs> Dude, Star Citizen was bad. It was, it was real bad. Okay, I super can't play Elite either. Crap. The hell am I going to play? <laughs> this was the reliable space game that always works. And now it's fucking broken too. <clears throat> um... We're playing Friablo, everybody. That's what's happening next. I can't see the game. I have a window. Path of Exile is 500 times too complicated for me. I don't understand it. I click on things and they die. That's about as <laughs> fucking complicated as it gets for me. What the fuck happened to Path of Exile? It keeps closing. Oh my god, is nothing going to work today? This is a disaster of a stream. You guys can't see that, can you? That's just black. That's just nothing. 
What's frustrating is that that's the Path of Exile cursor. You can see that. Maybe if I actually log in. Nope. Still not seeing anything. <clears throat> Jimmy Colorado says, The stream is haunted. Only answer. Casper says, Gremlins. Yeah, there are fucking gremlins today. Rest in peace, Joe's PC. This is actually a quirk of OBS, where what's probably going to happen is I'm going to have to stop the stream, quit OBS, turn it back on, and it'll work fine. You're not meant to just switch between games like this when you do things the way I do. Okay, I can see game and you can't. Hmm. Still black. Frustrating. Okay. I'm going to stop the stream. I'm going to restart it. We'll get this worked out. We'll be right back. <clears throat> 